glory glory be to jesus amen amen you're all welcome to today's meeting while we wait for people to join you're all welcome yes my prime minister is in the house you're very very welcome i greet you my personal prophet thank you so much for joining thank you for being a great pillar of support thank you for the prayer covering thank you for your love thank you thank you thank you this would not have been possible without you thank you so much yes my brother Ejim, thank you for joining i see you thank you for joining we're just gonna wait for a few more minutes for more people to join before we start thank you all for joining it's a glorious day we are grateful to god for the gift of life for seeing the month of july the seventh month of the year the second half of the year it calls for thanksgiving we are grateful to god almighty father we thank you we give you praise we give you praise thank you jesus father we give you praise we just wait for a few more minutes for more people to join before we start so while waiting for them we give god praise we thank him for his blessings thank him for seeing us through today we are grateful father we say thank you lord we are grateful 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 yes 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 i see my c my c just join my one and only c i love you my c thank you for joining awesome 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 father we give you praise we give you praise we give you praise it's a beautiful day god has been so 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 good to us we give him praise we acknowledge him he is the doer everything that we are is about him lord we give you praise cynthia thank you for joining you're very welcome you're very welcome you're very welcome in the next few minutes we are going to start you're going to start in the next few minutes amen amen we'll just give one more minute then we'll start some people are trying to come online they've been sending me private messages they are ready they are trying to log in they are trying to connect people are connecting from different parts of the world god has blessed us tremendously in this group we are a multicultural group we have multitudes joining from different parts of the world we are grateful father we thank you lord we are grateful we are grateful we are grateful amen so right about now we are going to start we're going to start with an opening prayer so wherever you are lift up your hands above your head and begin to appreciate him thank the almighty god for the gift of life thank him for another day to be in his presence whatever we are is by his grace we are nothing of our own we are grateful lord we are grateful the apostle paul said whatever i am today is by your grace all that we are is by his grace let's thank him for the gift of life let's thank him for sound mind let's thank him for good health let's thank him for shelter over our heads let's thank him for clothes on our bodies let's thank him for provisions let's acknowledge him for diverse blessings lord we are grateful we give you praise lord we give you praise we say thank you we give you glory we honor you we are so so grateful lord we say thank you lord we say thank you we can do nothing of our own selves father we appreciate you we give you all the praise in jesus name almighty father we thank you for this beautiful day thank you for the grace you have empowered us with thank you for your love towards us thank you oh god for diverse blessings we are grateful thank you oh god for bringing us together oh god in your kingdom we are grateful lord as we have come again today, O oh God, in your name, we ask that you speak to us in the language that we will understand. We ask for wisdom to pray aright. We ask, O oh God, even as we have come to thank and appreciate you, O oh God, Lord, that you receive our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. That at the end of today's meeting, all glory will be unto your holy name. 
while the blessings and joy will be ours. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. So we declare this meeting today open in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And let the saints shout a bigger Amen. Amen. We are going to spend the next few minutes worshiping God. We are going to do it with our voices in our own language, in our own understanding. We are going to give him glory for who he is. Amen. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, love, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You worthy oh Lord we give you glory we give you glory Lord as we honor you we give you glory Lord as we
you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high. Miracle worker, you are the most high. Rose of Sharon, you are <coughs> I am the I am, you are the most high, almighty God, you are the most high God. You are the reason why we are praising Jehovah, you are the most high God. You are the reason why we are like to Jehovah, you are the most high God. You are the reason why we are breathing. Jehovah, you are the most high God. You are, you are, you are the most high God.
Amen. Father, we love you. We love you. We love you. Holy Spirit, we acknowledge you. You are our God. You are sovereign. You are beautiful. All situation. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise. We exalt you. We exalt you. We exalt you, our God. There is none to be compared with you. Blessed, blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we have worship. If you're excited to be in the house today, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 One second. Let me plug in my phone. I forgot to plug it in. Amen. Amen. My apologies. My battery was beginning to run down. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. I'm so excited to be here with you all today. What a blessing to be alive to see this day, the 4th of July. To all the Americans, happy 4th of July. Oh, praise God, praise God, praise God. We thank God for the grace to see another July 4th. It is only by His grace, it's only by His making that we are here to serve God freely. In this day, the independence of the United States of America, we are able to serve God freely. What a great day it is. Let's bless the name of the Lord for the July 4th. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. So today we'll be sharing on the topic I have titled, Count Your Blessings. Count Your Blessings. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Psalm 103. Psalm 103. For the interest of those that are joining us for the very first time, I see some people that are just joining us for the very first time, and even some people that may watch this video afterwards. So the mandate for praying for results is to raise a tribe of intercessors who will stand as watchmen, continuously enforcing kingdom and personal matters, thereby taking full delivery of our inheritances in Christ Jesus. So the, the goal for us is to stand in the place of prayer, both for the kingdom and for ourselves. And that's why you see the prayers, the daily prayers that we post in the group, are prayers that advance the kingdom of God, the prayers that advance the church, the prayers that also advance you as an individual. And God is not unrighteous to forget the labor of your love. So even as you stand as intercessors, praying, interceding on behalf of God's people and his kingdom, God in return will meet you at the very point of your needs. It is sealed. It is done. God will definitely reward your labor of love as you intercede for others. He in return is sorting out your own issues, addressing every issue of concern for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So this mandate was specifically delivered just a couple of weeks back. April 13, to be precise. I remember that day. It was my husband's birthday, and I was praying, and God said to me, in the place of prayer, specifically, I'm sending you to undertake this assignment, praying for results. And he began to speak on how it should be done. And he went further to say to me, at two different encounters in the place of prayer, he said, I have also given to you two mantles, which he called the mantle of Elijah, the Elijah mantle, the mantle of fire and answers. And the Lord said to me, I have touched your mouth today. As you say it, so shall you say it. Whatever you ask me in the place of prayer, there will be immediate manifestation of answers. What a great assurance. And he went forth to back that word with a word in James chapter 5, verse 17 to 18, that talked about James, who is a man of likeness like us. He prayed, and God answered him. So God said to me, when you stand in the place of prayer, as you say it, 
so shall it come to pass in the name of Jesus. And he also said to me that he also given me another mantle he called the Queen Esther mantle, which he said is the mantle of favor. When I intercede for people, they will receive divine intervention speedily, which also backed up from the book of Esther. Amen. So God is with us in praying for results. We are not playing games here. Everything we are doing here is as directed by the Holy Spirit himself. And the Bible is a blueprint. Everything we do here is scriptural. It's Bible-based. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're with me, let me see the comment below. Let me know you're with me. Let me know you understand what I'm saying. Praise Jesus. So today, our focus is count your blessings. Today is the first Saturday in the month of July, which is the first month of the second half of the year. Like I said earlier, this mandate was delivered in April and we kicked off immediately as the Holy Spirit led. So since April to now, we have been having these daily prayers. And we meet every Saturday today, just as we are doing right now, to share the word of God and encourage ourselves in the world to have a deeper knowledge, a deeper understanding of what it means to pray for results. A lot of times people pray amiss. They just spend time repeating vain words, babbling before God without actually saying anything. So what we do is based on scriptures to teach ourselves how to pray and get the desired results and also share to let us know if there are things standing in the way limiting us from getting the desired result amen we had a prayer festival last saturday it was lit it was glorious hallelujah amen it was a powerful 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 service god had his way in that service amen so like i said today we are Focusing on count your blessings. And in one of the teachings, we have talked about thanksgiving. What does it mean to count your blessings? God has been super, 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 super faithful to us. He's been good. A lot of times, our focus is usually on the things that hasn't happened, the things that hasn't materialized, the things that you're yet to see. Without spending time to look at all the things that God has done for you. And that's why we are going to read the book of Psalm 103 today. Psalm 103, I will quickly read it. Psalm 103 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits, who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfy thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executed righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his act unto the children of Israel, the Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He had not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far had he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitied his children, so the Lord pitied them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the shield, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children to such as keep his covenant 
and to those that remember his commandments to them. The Lord had prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasures. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 amen. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Amen. So the focus for today is count your blessing. I have told us a few times that we should have a prayer journal so that when God does things for you, you can go to that journal to look at it and see that God has answered. In the same vein, I also have Thanksgiving journal. This is my Thanksgiving journal. It's my book. I record all that God has done for me. You can see I take time to record daily all that God has done for me. This is my Thanksgiving journal. So when I go through it, a lot of times we keep bombarding God with requests, with petitions, with supplications, but we do not pay attention to the Thanksgiving journal to count all the things that he has done for us. Even if you think that God has not done anything for you, the fact that you are alive today, breathing, is more than enough for you to thank God. Some people can't breathe normally. They have to use oxygen to breathe. You're not paying for the air you breathe. You're breathing through your nose. You're not breathing through pipes. It's enough for you to thank God. You're not in the hospital. So many people are in the hospital. We are going through a season of pandemic. So many people have died this period. So many families are grieving. They have lost their loved ones to the cold hands of COVID-19. But here we are today, praising God, thanking him. It calls for you to thank him. You are able to take your food to eat without having food go through pipes into your body. It's enough for you to thank God. Have you ever wondered what it feels like waking up and you're not able to put food in your mouth to eat? You're able to use the bathroom with ease without having to use pipes to use the bathroom. Some people can take food in, but they can't take it out. All those things are conditions, but God has been faithful to us. You're able to use your two hands. You're not using any equipment to do anything. You're able to walk with your two legs. You're not having to use the crutches. You can see with your two eyes. You can hear with your ears. You can talk with your mouth. You have your freedom. You can move around. You're free to move around. You're free to serve God. You're free to worship God. It calls for thanksgiving. God has blessed us with good sleep. When it's night time, he causes you to lie down in peace because he's your security, just like the Bible tells us. Some people are not able to sleep at night for so many reasons. It calls for thanksgiving. Has God offended you in any way? I do not think so. He can't offend you. God is altogether perfect. He's righteous. He's sovereign in every way. Amen. So we need to count our blessings. Our focus should be on our Thanksgiving journal. My father in the Lord, Bishop David Oedipo, always says, if you can think, you can thank. If you can think, you can thank. And a thankful heart brings about a thankful blessing. When your heart is full of thanksgiving, you have a thankful of blessings. A thankful heart results in thank thankful blessings. Amen. Are we together? Amen. So we need to pay attention. This is the first Saturday in the first half of the year. Look back to the month of January. What did God do for you in the month of January? Look back to the month of February. 
What did God do to you in the month of February, in the month of March, in the month of April, in the month of May, and in the month of June? Think about them and thank him. And that's why we have that song that says, Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Amen. When you count your blessings, you will be shocked at all God has done for you. While the Holy Spirit was laying it in my heart on what to share with us today, he took me to this journal and I started flipping through this journal and I realized there were so many significant blessings in this book that I had forgotten. And that's why the book of Psalm 103 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, bless, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Forget not all his benefits, because the human mind is limited. It's easy to forget the things that God has done for us. And this is also the kind of experiences we have even in a relationship with our fellow human beings. A lot of times, we feel so entitled. A sense of entitlement hinders us from being appreciative of what people do for us. Even in the family, sometimes you feel so entitled that someone is your sibling. So the person must bless you, the person must do this, the person... Must. That is a big fat lie. You are not entitled. The person is not owing you. If your sibling does anything for you, you should be thankful. It's not an entitlement. You should be thankful. You should be grateful and show appreciation. You should not begrudge that person and expect more. Amen. Even the Bible says what you sow is what you reap. So if you, if you sow blessings, if you sow gifts, it is natural that you will receive blessings in return. So if you want people to bless you in a very, very big way, you should also be a blessing to others. So blessings, open that channel so that that blessing will come to you. The Bible says that there is he that scattereth and keeps getting more, but there is he that will told it and till it towards penury. Amen. So it's important for us today to take time and count our blessings. Appreciate God for what he has done in your life. Appreciate him for what he's doing in your life. Appreciate him for what he'll continue to do. Some people are already getting agitated. Oh, it's July. I haven't achieved this. Oh, it's July. I lost my job. Oh, it's July. This is not happening. Oh, it's July. I, I, I'm taking half salaries now. Oh, it's July. I, 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 my, 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 my landlord is giving me quick notice. It's ju you just keep counting negatives negatives negative negative negatives have you actually taken out time to thank him for the times that you had the job have you taken out time to thank him for the times you were getting the full salary even when you're getting the full salary did you even pay your tithes even when you're giving getting this full salary did you give him quality offering even when you're getting the full salary were you a blessing to anybody are there people that you can look around and say that the salaries you've ever received did not go to you alone? You can count one or two persons that have benefited from the blessings that God has given to you. Amen. God blesses us to be blessings to our world and the kingdom. The blessing of God upon us is not for us to amass personally. Amen. We should start thinking blessings. We should start thinking Right. Amen. Ingratitude is a major hindrance of getting results in prayers. Ingratitude is a major, 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 major hindrance. Delayed gratitude, half gratitude amounts to complete ingratitude. Timely thanksgiving is very, very key. 
When God blesses you, you're supposed to give him immediate thanksgiving. When your fellow human being blesses you, you're supposed to appreciate the person immediately because delayed appreciation can mean ingratitude. And you know, a lot of times, our faces is a reflection of our hearts. From the abundance of thy heart, thy mouth speaketh. A lot of times we speak based on the things in our minds. Amen. So from our fellow human beings that we see, even starting from our homes that we live in, from our siblings, our children, our spouses, our parents, we should start counting our blessings. The Bible says that God puts solitary in homes. So for God to put you in homes where you have spouses, where you have children, where you have siblings, where you have family members, it's a blessing you should be thankful to God for. That you're even married, you should thank God that you even have a spouse. That you have children, you should be thankful. That you have children that are healthy, you should be thankful. I, I, I know a lady who has three children that are special need children. Three children, all her three children, they are special need children. It bleeds her heart. It's the same God that created all of them, that created us. So when you look at some of those things, you should be thankful. Count your blessings that you have children that are healthy, that children that, are, that, 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 that have sound mind, that your children can even go to the kitchen and get you a bottle of water to drink. That means they can hear, they can move, they can touch, they can lift up the bottle and hand it over to you. It calls for thanksgiving. Thank him for the tiniest, minutest details of your life. And thanksgiving seals your testimonies. We just had a concluded prayer festival. The question is, did God answer your prayers during the prayer festival? If yes, have you given him quality thanks? Have you acknowledged him for what he did for you? Have you testified to his goodness? Have you declared his deeds amongst the people? Amen. Those are part of the things that we need to bear in mind to get results while we pray, to get results in prayer. You should have, let your default mode be thanksgiving. You should be conscious of thanksgiving. A grateful heart is a heart that will go places. Amen. There, 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 there's a, a one of our, our, our children that has that strong quality of saying thank you. When she eats anything, she'll come and say thank you to everybody. When you give her anything, she'll come and say thank you to everybody. Even sometimes you don't even know that she got something or she ate something. No matter where you are, if you're in the bedroom, if you're in the bathroom, she will come to where you are to say thank you. And you know that positive traits is infectious. Even those around, if they forget and see that she's going to say thank you, there's this reawakening and they move. Everybody comes to say thank you. And because of that behavior, unconsciously, there are times she may make a demand for something for very objective reasons, you may not want to release at that very material time, but your heart will be moved in love to give that to her. Why? Because she has a thankful heart, a heart of appreciation. You know that either way, this child will come back to say thank you. This child will go and tell the whole world, I got this. This child will take that thing and show it to everybody. This is what I got. That's the same way it happens with God. When we count our blessings, when we appreciate him for the things he's done in our lives, for the things he's doing in our lives, and declare his work, his marvelous deed to all the world, this is what God has done for us. He will keep increasing you in blessing, in blessing, in blessing. Amen. And there's something we have carefully proved as a family as a commission the more we thank god the more we acknowledge him for his blessings the more we have reasons to acknowledge him as we keep testifying to the things he's done 
He keeps doing more and more and more for us in our lives. We find out that every week we will have cause to testify. And that's the same thing with our finances. We appreciate him for every financial blessing he's blessed us with. We will give the tithes in obedience to his word. We will give our offerings. At certain times, we'll increase the offering and say, just give a special offering, a seed of thanksgiving to appreciate God for what he's doing in our lives and all that. Before we are done, he's blessing us more and more and more. Amen. The scripture cannot be broken. That's why the Ecclesiastes says, to everything under the sun, there is a season. So it's important for us to understand that thanksgiving touches the heart of God. Thanksgiving touches the heart of men. When people see that you're a grateful person, when people see that you don't have an entitlement mentality, they are eager to bless you. They are eager to help you. A lot of people have this mindset when they come in contact with anybody, when they meet people, their mindset is, what can I benefit from this person? It's not, it's not a very good trait. It's, it's not a very good trait. And, and you see all their speeches, the, everything they say is tilted towards how to get things from you. You know, big stories like, you know, get, 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 get. I prefer to approach every relationship from a value perspective. How can I bless you? How can I add value to you? How can I impact your life? You may be wealthy. You may not need my money. But there are things you may not be able to do for yourself, which I can do for you and add value. You may not be able to change your tires. The vulcanizer is a person that will be able to change your tires. So that vulcanizer is adding value to your life. So when you value the vulcanizer, knowing that without him and his service, I can't move this car because when the tire goes down, there's nothing I can do. You have a different mindset. You have a different way of thinking. You have a, 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 a different way of thinking. So it, it's important to have that value perspective. When you have value perspective, you find out that you will be more appreciative. You appreciate anyone that comes your way. You appreciate the tiniest things that anybody does for you. It's just like our children. We're sending them on, on, on errands. Yes, they are children. But hey... You're not, you, you can't command them anyhow. You, you don't run them. You're only a custodian. God has given over them to guide them, to bring them up. So you don't think that because they are children, so you run their lives anyhow you like without giving them value. No, when, when we tell them to do something, we always say, please. And when they do it, we always say, thank you. We, you appreciate them. You say, thank you. You, you appreciate, you reward them when, when they are excellent, which is why even when you want to say, um, can someone do, you see everybody running to help you. Why? Because they know that they will be appreciated. They know that they will be valued. They know that there's a blessing that will come with that. And why am I saying this? Because we have carefully come to that understanding that those children are part of our blessings. They are part of our blessings. And you know, the, 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 the lifestyle here in the U.S. is different from the lifestyle in Nigeria, where people have domestic staff, they pay and do all things. So sometimes they even begin to feel that they, they can treat them anyhow and do things anyhow. Why? Because they are paying them money and all that. Here is different. You do things for yourself. Even though you have money to pay those people, it does not mean that you cannot appreciate them. You may have the money to pay them, but if they don't render excellent service to you, it's also a frustration. So when you thank God that they are even in your life to help you do that thing, and you even have the resources to take care of them, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Let's not take things for granted. We are in the second half of the year. Let's start this second half on the right note. 
Let's start it on the right footing. Let's change our perspectives. Let's change the way we think. Let's change the way we do things. Start seeing the good in everybody. Start seeing that all things like the Bible says work together for your good. Even the clothes that you wear. Thank God for the clothes. Have you imagined walking through your door naked? People will think you're crazy. So you need to value the clothes that you wear because the clothes is doing something. Father will thank you for clothes. What it would be like without wearing clothes? Going outside the street and seeing people naked. So as little as the clothes are, they serve their purpose. Thank God for technology. Technology is the reason why we are in this meeting right now. People connecting from different parts of the world. I have people connecting from United Arab Emirates. I'm here in the U.S. I have people from U.K. I have people from Nigeria. I have people from some African countries. We have over 50-something nations that watch our programs. That is what technology has done and is part of our blessings. Because if not for this technology that is bridging this gap, you'll be able to hear me. You'll be able to see me. So it's part of our blessings. We don't take anything for granted. Everything works together for our good. Some people may want to watch this program, but they may not be able to work because of power supply. Where they are, maybe there's no power. And they have programmed their minds to be in this program today, and the power supply will be a point of frustration for them. So for you that have lights, you have your batteries fully charged, you have your phone, you have internet access, thank God, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Everything we have in life came from God. Don't take anything for granted at all. The eye, your eye has a role, it's plain. Your nose has a role, it's plain. Your mouth has a role, it's plain. Every member of your body has its role and you should be grateful to God for it. I remember a few weeks ago that I had toothache. It was so, the pain was so bad. The pain was so much that I took up to 12 tablets of mortrine, ibuprofen in a day. It had no effect. I couldn't chew. I couldn't do anything. When I went to see the dentist, he said I didn't have cavities on my teeth. My teeth were okay. It was just the gum and all that. He gave me no medication. And I came home and I started addressing it Spiritually, what I mean by that is I started declaring the word of God over my life and um, I became more conscious lifestyle management. I got some mouthwash and gel to apply there, you know. After each meal, I will rinse and gargle and, you know, all that. And the pain all went away. I said, my God, what a blessing that now I can choose. Then I will cook look at the nice meals the nice dish i can't eat it because i was afraid my 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 teeth were aching i can't chew meat i can't chew bone i you know it, it, it was painful that is just one part of life toothache couldn't let me chew so you need to be thankful you need to be thankful thankful for everything you need to be thankful. Nothing should be taken for granted. Nothing at all. Nothing should be taken for granted. Have you ever imagined having constipation? You've eaten so much, your stomach is full and you can't move your bowel. You can't go to the bathroom. You drink everything. You can't, you're so restless. That is when you will know that your stomach has something that is doing that you need to thank God for. So let our focus not always be on, oh, I don't have money, oh, I'm not yet married, oh, I don't have children, oh, this, oh, this, oh, that. When you read the book of Hebrews, there are some people that never received the promise till they died. Does that make God less of who he is? The answer is no. God is God all by himself. Nobody votes him in, nobody can vote him out. He is God all by himself. His reign is forever. When you thank him for who and what he is, you find out that he will start addressing every issue of concern. So I encourage us today, do not just have a prayer journal. Have a thanksgiving journal. It's a tradition that we have in this family. 
This is my Thanksgiving journal. I document all that God has done. At the end of today, I will go back and write. Each day, I will write it. All that God has done. I write it. Appreciating him, I write it. So that I will not forget. So I won't forget his benefits. I won't forget his benefits. He's been so good to us. We've not had any emergencies. We've not had to go to the hospital. We've not had to rush anybody. God has kept us. Even in this period of the pandemic, the coronavirus is ravaging the entire nations of the world. It's real. It's happening. People are con I mean, being infected by that virus, but God has kept us. So wherever you are and you're safe, you should be grateful to God. I hear people keep talking about lockdown. They can't move. They are lamenting, speaking negatively, cursing the leaders, the nations, and for keeping them at home. And I begin to wonder. I begin to wonder. You call it locked down. That, that you're, you're, you're attacking the government for locking you down. Locking you down in your own house, your own family, your own loved ones. And you're complaining. How about being locked down in the grave? Which is better? Without even fulfilling purpose. So are you saying that those people that were affected by the, the, the virus that are now buried would not have choose to live longer to do more exploits for God? No, that should not be the, the, the attitude. Count your blessings. For me, in this season, God has done mind-blowing things for us. It, 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 it was like a reset a period of review, reassessment, a period of re-strategizing. I've heard testimonies of some families that their relationship began to blossom and grow this period. They, they learned a lot of things about themselves that they didn't even know. Why? Because people are running all over the place trying to pursue different things and don't even have time for their families. Some people have taken time to review their businesses, even in ministry, Changes strategies and all that. So don't always look at things from the negative perspective. Everything we do, we align to the word of God. There is absolutely nothing happening today that has not happened in the time old. Go back to your Bible. When you read the Bible very well, you find out that there is nothing happening today that didn't happen before. But the difference is your attitude. The difference is your approach. The difference is how you deal with it. I tell anybody that cares to listen, that has come in contact with me, if there is a lockdown, I do not know. I have not felt being locked down. I am not in any way locked down because there's absolutely nothing I've wanted to do that I've not been able to do. It's not like I'm always out there on the street, on the road doing anything. So I don't feel locked down. Why? Because I'm even having... A more intimate time with my almighty God, with my family, my children, my mom, my siblings. I mean, I mean, you, you see the interesting thing now. People are now doing parties on Zoom and all that. Thank you all for that. I celebrated my brother during the week. I appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's one of the, the blessings of this season. Now people can have parties on Zoom without having to travel, without having to go to different places. Amen. So let's be grateful to God. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's not have that entitlement mentality or focus more on the negative. No, it is wrong. It's a wrong mindset. It is wrong. So let's count our blessings. Name them one by one and see what God will do for us. Amen. Have you been blessed? Let me see the comments and hear what you're saying. Amen. 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 Glory, glory, glory to Jesus. So just by way of closing, July has just started. This is the first Saturday in the month of July. If you do not have one, get a journal. Get a journal. Get a book. Any book, any jotter, anything. Just get it. Like This is just a regular book. It's just a regular book. It's just what I write in it that makes the difference. Get a journal. Begin to document all that God has done for you. When you begin to document it, you find out that God has exceeded your expectation. He has gone beyond what you know. Amen. So, 
Before I close, there are a group of people today that I would like to speak just for one minute to, for you to be able to count your blessings, for you to be able to enjoy these blessings of God, for you to be able to enjoy what we are enjoying, you must accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Just for anyone under the sound of my voice that will listen even after this message, after this meeting that has not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this is the time. This is the time. This is the time. So if you want to pray the, that prayer wherever you are, say after me, Dear Lord Jesus, I come before you. I acknowledge you as my Lord and my Savior. I believe in my heart that you died for me to set me free. I confess you as Lord. I have come today to declare before men that you are my God and you will lead and guide me in every way of my life. Receive me into your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have prayed that prayer, let me just pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for everyone that has prayed this prayer today. Lord, you said anyone that comes to you, you shall in no wise cast away. My Father, my God, I ask, oh God, that you receive them today. In the name of Jesus, make them your own, that they may be able to enjoy the blessings that we are enjoying in the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, I soak and cover each and every one of them with the blood of Jesus. I ask, oh God, that you deliver the blessing of salvation to them like only you can, that they may know of a truth our Lord is good. Have your way in their lives. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate them. Awesome. The Bible says, what a joy when one sinner returns unto God. He left the 99 and went after one. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you for everyone that has returned unto you today. Lord, we celebrate them. We celebrate you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, because their lives are precious to you. Their lives are priceless. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you, Lord, for what you are doing in their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. So for those of you that have just given your life to Christ, if you do not go to any Bible-believing church, please locate one. It's very important for you to go to church, be in church, so that you can grow, you can be nourished and taught the right word and the right way. If you don't have any church, you can join us. We are Beautified Sense Church. We are a global church. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, go to our website to know more about us. Amen. Tomorrow is Sunday. Please remember to go to church. Go to church. The Bible says we should fellowship with the brethren. Hear the word, grow spiritually, and all that. You know, the Bible says in Hebrews that we should dwell together in harmony. So it's important to be in church. For us, we'll have an online service tomorrow at 10 a.m., Facebook Live will be streaming on Facebook Live, YouTube. Then for those joining from Nigeria, it's GMT plus one, which should be 3 p.m. So depending on your location, you can calculate the time difference. Amen. Remember to please follow us on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can share this video for some people to be blessed share it to your friends, share it amongst your friends of influence, share it, keep sharing it so that they will be blessed, so that they can understand the benefits of thanksgiving. So this blessing will also extend to them. Amen. So just as in close, remember, if you do not have a thanksgiving journal, remember to get one and God will bless you tremendously. When you keep acknowledging him, for all that he's done in your life, who and what he is, he'll keep blessing you more and more in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, everyone that has joined. My one and only C has been here. That's one of the people that I'm so grateful to God about. Celebrate her for me. You can see her name up there. It's Goldfield. She's my one and only elder sister. She's a medical doctor. She's one of the people that I thank God for every day because her medical expertise has been a huge blessing to us as a family. Those are part of the blessings that we do not joke with. And she's also a major partner of this ministry and we celebrate her and thank God for her in the name of Jesus. One of the God servants joined us all the way from South Africa. I celebrate you, sir. Thank you. It was an awesome program yesterday with Reverend Ibe. Thank you so much for joining. 
for everyone that has joined today feel i see you two days here from uae i see you, my family members my siblings my children my brother joined all the way from canada i see you all brother david sister faith sister cynthia i see you all my brother uh, james i may not mention everybody's name but my prayer today is that the blessing of this house shall not elude you in the name of jesus for all the leaders working from the back I say thank you. And to my own very prime minister, God's anointed, the great anointed, uh, the great servant behind this vessel you're seeing here. I thank you. He's my covering. He's the head over me. I thank you. This would not have happened without his guidance. I say thank you. The Bible says we should honor, 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 give honor to those that deserve. It is scriptural. Honor those that God has placed above you. Honor those that God has used to bless you. Do not think that it is wrong or it's idol worship or... Uh, no, 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 it's not. The Bible says it clearly. Read the book of Timothy. Honor those that God has put above you. Thank you, authority. Yes, my faithful brother, he came all the way from South Africa. Thank you so much. So it's important to honor all those that God has placed above you. Even all the ministers that God is using to work in the vineyard, honor them for all their support. Honor them. Honor is one key that takes you to greater heights. Amen. So I celebrate all of you. I thank you for all the good work that you're doing. Even our brother Chidozie, he started this commission with us even all the way from Nigeria. Even the United Arab Emirates, he's powering. And we will not take that for granted. We'll celebrate you. He's a great son of this ministry. Thank you so much, Brother Chidozie. We appreciate you. So for everyone, like I said, just in case I do not mention your name individually, God will bless you as only he can. We love you all from the bottom of our hearts. We love you all. We pray for you all every day. God sees our heart and he will return you. He will bless you in return in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Remember to join us tomorrow for service. The time is 10 a.m. 80, 3 p.m. GMT plus one. So from wherever you are connecting, please connect and join us. And the good Lord will continue to bless you as only he can. Till I come your way again next week, Saturday, remain ever beautified. I love you all. Enjoy the rest of your day and have a good night's rest.